Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Abram here, and I've been playing video console for two years. In my last market analysis video, I pointed out grinding in Mansion Forest during the July special hot time events. Today, I'm going to further show you how to get the infinite MP potions in video console and the most commonly misleading information for console players so you won't make the same mistake as I did. To help you navigate the sections easier, I've added timestamps to this video. If you like my videos, please don't forget to click the like and subscribe button and share these videos with your friends. You can also leave your comments down below and I'll read every single of them. Alright, let's jump into today's topic. The Infinite MP Potion is one of the treasure items in BDO, which can only be obtained by combining pieces by yourself. It is the best MP Potion in the game. Once obtained, you can use it forever, and you don't need to buy any MP Potions from NPC anymore. Plus, it only takes the weight of 40 normal MP Potions, so in the long run, it saves your money spent on MP consumables and reduces your time in weight management. But unlike the video PC version, our console version has a different piece requirements, which I'll explain later in this video. Just briefly go over the obtaining methods for newer players that there are two methods to obtain this infinite MP potion. One is directly getting the loot drop of the ancient pop pieces, which are uh, the Voltara Clairvoyance, Narc's Crimson Tear, and Mark Thunnan's Glant. Then combining them with the other two NPC exchanged pieces, which are uh, Krogano's Protection Stone, and Night Crow's Dawnstone. Alternatively, you can also choose to grind for a, a hundred PD pieces to exchange for normal version pot pieces, then combine them with the rest of two NPC exchanged pieces together. Please pay special attention here. In video console, the Krogano's Protection Stone is received by exchanging a hundred Spirit Essence of Earth with NPC Krogano's Trace. Instead of exchanging a hundred Rumbling Earth Shot like PC version. So this is different here for this item. The Night Crow's Dawn Storm is received by exchanging a hundred Dragon Scale Fossil with a node manager of the Garmoth's Nest. Since the pulp piece drop rate is very low, the direct pulp piece grinding method will be very random, which in theory you may still not receive one pulp piece after 150 hours. But if you do succeed, you'll also be rewarded with a yellow grey title as Parade of Dust to show fellow players that your dedication and great achievements. In comparison, the PDP exchange method gives you a worst case scenario backup because the PDP drop rate is much higher than the pulp piece. To my experience, with item collection increase scroll, you usually can expect around two steady drops every hour. Thus, the maximum hours you are spent to Exchange Magthanen's Glant or Nux Crimson Tear is just around 50 hours. If you also do the weekly PDP's quest uh, from the corresponding node managers, you are even shorter the time spent. I expect you will probably get 2 hours to complete the weekly PDP's quest and you'll get 5 PDPs reward from the quests. 
and 4 PDP strong from grinding. So that is 9 in total. If you just would like to spare 2 hours each week to work on this infinite potion, in 3 months you will probably get 1 pot piece from the PDP's exchange method at only 24 hours spent for each piece. However, to my experience, you may not be able to get the Otara's clairvoyance via the PDP's drop method, as the drop rate calculation is different than grinding. Though there is no absolute consensus in video community about the Vatara's drop rate, it is generally believed as a gathering drop, and the drop rate is separate than grinding drop rate. You may only be able to increase the drop rate by increasing tiny mastery and gathering drop rate buff from like your alchemy stone. In addition, unlike pad looting, you have to manually tan the corpse to get a PD piece or pocket piece. So this significantly limits the maximum number of drop chance you can have for each hour. Considering you have to you know, also move and kill the mobs, I think 500 tanning attempts each hour is already sufficient on console. I know it may sound daunting, especially if you like gathering mastery is low, but the good news is this is purely my opinion that the Voltara's clairvoyance drop rate is high comparing to other pot pieces. So this is why I said you probably won't need a PD piece for this item. With Logia set at 900 gathering mastery, I got this item just around 5 hours. I reckon I might be a bit like RNG carried, but I rarely hear online that players saying they couldn't get this drop instead of the Nox Crimson tier. At the time of this video, under the July special hot time event, it is indeed a good time to level up your gathering and getting the pot piece at the same time. And you also have increased event drop rate for the other two pieces during grinding. So moreover, the value of trash loot has also been adjusted higher in early June, giving a decent return for MP pot grinding. My suggested grinding order is Mansion Forest for Great Warrior and Shaman first, with a weekly quest. Since the Nox Crimson tier is the most difficult one to obtain directly through the uh, drop piece. At the same time, you can also do tanning in Navarin Step for Freena and Frika, where you are tiled you know, with grinding. After that, you can go Shira Ruins for the Keeper's mob like the Leaf Keeper, Grove Keeper, and Vine Keeper. Thanks to the PDP system, the difficulty for this infinite potion has been greatly reduced. So if this is your recent goal in the game, I expect you can achieve it within like 2-3 to three months at a decent pace. Alright, now you know how to obtain this item. Let's take a look at how to combine the pieces, which is the most terrible experience I've ever had for this MP potion. That is, I was totally misled by the video PC version game guides online. So in the video you can see I'm actually grinding for the Lux Crimson tier through the method of PD drop method. And the thing I'm trying to get is Narx Solus. So if you grind for PD drop, uh, you don't have to grind for uh, Great Warriors and Mansion Shaman. You can grind for any 
mobs in Mansion Forest. So it has less um, stringent criteria, so you can grind more freely, and you don't need to worry about other people. You know they um, compete with you in grinding because you can basically grind all of them. Uh, because many players, if they compete in this area, they only target at the mansion. Uh, shaman and also the great warriors so you don't need to worry about that at the same time you can also do a guild quest I have previously published a guild quest uh, guide in the as a video so you can refer that it will give you a bonus uh, extra money per hour and I've actually completed this weekly PD drop quest I get the last piece of the Nox Solace so previously I've already got 99 Nox Solus and also the Mark Thornton's Grant and the Volterra's Ready. So this is the final thing I need for the um, Infinite Potion grinding piece. I decided to show you the whole process I did for exchanging the items and combining for the Infinite MP Potion. I actually spent for about one hour just to combine them because I made a mistake. So that's why I want to show you uh, the mistakes so you will you know, avoid this in the future. Um, you see I've already got the, piece, the PD piece and I'm going to Marine Dora uh, which is NBC in Grana. You talk to her and she will give you an item which is called Narc's Tear. And then you can use the Nox Solace and Nox Tear together by simple alchemy to form the Nox Crimson Tear. So the first mistake I made is I thought I got three um, grinding pieces and then I can directly exchange the other two you know, exchange pieces. So I thought the first thing I thought is I can exchange the other two NPC exchange items anytime. So this is the first mistake I made. Uh, obviously this is not. What you need to do is the correct method is you need to bring all three grinding pieces together, uh, which is Dark Nathan's Gland and Dark Crimson Tear and Volterra's Clairvoyance. Then you talk to uh, Marine Dora she will give you a quest uh, basically just like five seconds quest talk to her and then the quest will be finished she will give you a knowledge to then exchange for another two NPC exchange pieces so for me uh, things getting more complicated because I made a second mistake at the same time which is I was misled by the, by the online game guides and I prepared a hundred rumbling earth shards to exchange the Kogalo's protection stone. But in console, you know, it's a hundred rumbling, sorry, it's a hundred spirits essence of earth. So I was not aware of this at that point, at that time. So when I talk to the Kogalo's Krogal trace, I find there's no chat option, there's no quest. I thought I probably am bug something like that. And I even considered to swap the channel, but luckily I just you know find I did a research online. I find I need to talk to Marine Dora, so I realized the first mistake, but I still didn't you know find out the second. So what I did at the time is I just came back to Glitch uh, to pick up the other two drop pieces from the storage, and then talk to Marine Dora to fix the first issue but you know you are can't you'll see uh, later I'll have another issue because of the second problem so the first tip I'll say is if you grind the pieces there um, gradually um, keep them in the storage of Grana if you have space in Grana because otherwise you have to travel <laughs> pick them up and then come back again to talk to Marindora. So that's my first tip. 
So probably just for the mistake one, I've already wasted 20 minutes. Uh, travel back and forth and did nothing during these 20 minutes. So this is the, uh, the result, the consequence of the mistake one. While I'm traveling, I just let you guys know generally how long I spent for this infinite potion. So I started infinite MP potion after um, I get the HP potion. So probably I spent, I, I first started at, or I first attempted one year ago for this project. Uh, at that time, there was very bad cafe straw in Mansion Forest and also the um, the uh, trash loot value is also very low compared to now. And also at that time, we don't have a good AP uh, uh, like now we have as well. So I studied a bit different than my suggested order now. I studied first in Shira Ruin because uh, that place is a bit easier for lower AP players. And also at that time, I'm trying to level up my alts, so I mainly grind Shira rooms with my alts. In total, I spend maybe six or I think six or eight alts character in Shira ruin from grinding from level 58 to level uh, 60 or 61. So that's my process of doing the Shira ruin drop. Uh, in total, I probably I always use the in item increase drop loot, and this one in total I probably spend like 40 to 50 hours in my opinion. So I just get the ancient drop directly. Uh, but this another mistake I made is unlike HP potion, you have a gradual uh, step steps to form the final version of the infinite MP HP potion. So every piece, every drop piece can be converted into a small version of MP potion, infinite MP, sorry, infinite HP potion. And gradually you build up your HP potion from the small to middle size to large size and complete infinite whole infinite HP potion. I thought the MP potion has the same uh, like stair system. So once I obtain the ancient drop, I directly talk to Brindora uh, and exchange it into a normal version. Because ancient drop can be exchanged to normal version, but normal version cannot be exchanged back to ancient. And only the ancient version drop can give you the title of the, like Harad of Dawn, Harad of Dust. Um, so this is the mistake I made. I thought well, maybe if I, I'll seriously regret if I get another another two ancient drops, because I actually waste the opportunity to get the Harad of Dust. This title is very rare in the game. Uh, but luckily, yeah, now I'm I'm happy because I didn't get the ancient piece drop, and you know I, I'm okay with only one Harad title, I'm okay with that. And then I remember uh, before I get the mansion drop because it's still difficult, I, you can see I eventually get this from the PD system. I tried during the uh, special events, I remember there was a day they increased the gathering um, EXP buff, so I during that event I tried to level up my uh, gathering EXP level. And I combine this by tanning the uh, Navern step. So I spent, I just wanted to try my luck. I always initially thought I want to get through the PD system as well. Uh, and I've already redid my research. I, I didn't find a drop rate for this Vatara's clairvoyance. And to my experience of other infinite MP potion pieces, I thought it's going to be like 80, 100 hours. So I, I was thinking, okay, now I'm fine. I'm just doing the weekly quest, gradually build up, eventually I, I'll get it. 
But after five hours, luckily I just get the ancient drop directly from tanning a corpse. So because the pity drop, uh, this to be honest, it feels to me very very rare. The pity drop is almost as rare as the ancient drop to my experience. So I was even doubting whether there is a PD drop for this tanning system. Uh, but until I get one, I, I, I confirm there is PD drop, but it feels very very difficult. So I can't I can't imagine I tanning the corpse till like getting 80 and getting another 20 from the quest. It's going to be really a professional uh, or full-time <laughs> gatherer, so it's, it's not my interest. I'm very lucky to get this item. And then once I get this uh, Shira Ring drop and also the uh, Votaras uh, Clairvoyance, and then I'm more confident and more... And at the time, it's, it's around June, so they updated this, um, the system of Mansion Forest. So it's getting more trash loot and is also getting me a hope. So I feel okay now. Let's finish this this project. So after that, I probably spend only like three weeks and then I complete this PD drop system project. So infinite MP potion for me was not necessary before because I was playing land and. Like last year, Dan has the skill to recover the MP, so I I don't feel any need to get the MP potion because I always have the full MP. And also later in the game, I realized you know they have modified land, so we don't have the MP regeneration skill. We only have the HP regeneration. And also I, you know, with your gear. Um, upgrading so you are more inclined to involve in to PvP content of this game uh, during PvP uh, to you know to keep a super armor or to keep a front guard status you have to use the skill so use those skills it actually uh, many skills will use your MP so you will be in a status or you will feel a significant uh, need for your MP regeneration. So at that time, I, you know, especially during the um, grinding competition, so we kill each other in Asha, and I have to keep buying the MP potion to keep me with solid MP and to use the skill at the right time. Otherwise, if I run out of MP or I couldn't use the right skill at that time, at a specific time, then probably I'll just be dead. And then I have to come back again or fight again, though I'll be in a disadvantage always. But if I use, I bring the MP potion with me during grinding, I have to, you know, s spare a lot of weight for that to prepare for just PvP during the grinding, but if that didn't happen, I didn't have anyone contest the grinding zone with me, then just a waste, white wasted weight. So um, I feel if at that time I feel if I can get an infinite MP potion, then you know it's really something useful. Um, now I'm playing LAN, I guess other some characters will have a, a stronger need for MP, so. For those players, for those characters, and people should be even more important. Now you can see I'm at Verindora, and what I'm doing is I need to exchange my ancient Votaros Clairvoyance into the normal version, because the other two drops I received is in normal version now. Uh, because one, a Crimson, uh, Narx Crimson tier is exchanged through the PD drop system, the other one, uh, the ancient clans I received was exchanged to the normal ver into normal version by mistake. So now I have to exchange everything into normal version to combine the piece. Um, alternatively, what you can do is you can get three ancient pieces and then combine them together, but you can't mix them up together. 
So you can either use the ancient version or all in normal version. And then once you exchange into normal version, then you will, they will give you a quest. And then complete this quest, it will give you knowledge of the infinite MP potion. So now I've got the knowledge ready, and I was tr going to try again to exchange the other two pieces uh, to complete this project. But at that time, I still you know, haven't been aware that I made the wrong materials for the exchange. Uh, so you can see I'm at the Progonos Trace again. I talk to this NPC, <laughs> stared at him. I'm thinking, what happened? And uh, I'm so confused, lost at that time. I just stand there for really quite a few minutes. And in the meantime, I was doing research online. Eventually, you find in a small comment section of the game guide, someone mentioned there was a difference between the console version and the PC version. And then I checked the, the console official website for the update, update. I find in 2020, when they first released the console version of the Infinite MP Potion, they really mentioned saying you need 100 Spirit Earth Essence. But just that's the only thing mentioned in console. Uh, other than that, I didn't see anything. Uh, so, and there was no video guides for this. So console players, I think, um, it's, it's going to be a common mistake uh, for you guys. So that's the reason I decided to make this video as well. So you can see, well, I was figuring out what happens. I went to the Night Pro Stone Stone. I just try to see whether I can exchange the other item uh, because I want to see whether I am bugged or I'm cursed or you know what happens if I can exchange the other item which means everything should be fine but then this you know Crocodile's protection stone the issue or something wrong with that so I was not sure what happened and while well, I was still doing research online as well so you can see the exchange process is simple. So I can just simply talk to the node manager NPC and he will give you the item directly. Uh, just talk to him, give him the item and you know he will just give you back the, the other pieces. So now I finally realize I need the spirit essence of earth. So uh, I need to grind again because the market is out of stock. So what I'm doing, going to do is I'm going to grind the love step for the um, feather wolf. So what I did is I target, as you can see, I target in the knowledge panel. I target this uh, mob I specifically want to grind. In this case, uh, the minimap will have a highlighted yellow color. Uh, it's, it's not a bright yellow, it's light yellow color. It will distinguish this mob you targeted than like normal mobs but it's different than the quest uh, quest color and you you can you should use this method for all the grindings for infinite MP potion and HP potion because many people they're asking about rotations for me I don't really mind of rotations online or other people tell you to follow this one because um, each character has different playstyle, or even each player have a different, you know, preference or how they want to play. So, but if you target the mobs you need to kill, you can on your mini map. It can always guide you to see the density of those mobs in a certain area. So you always want to follow the high density zones. So as long as you get a rough idea where you can find or where roughly the high density zones are, and then on the minimap, this um, light yellow target will guide you uh, through the, the rotations. So you don't have to remember them uh, specifically online, you know, use the hard methods, just gradually, uh, you grind naturally, with your hints, you know, with your nature, uh, for one hour, two hours, you will form your own rotation naturally. And 
At that time, you also ha will have a good understanding or memory of the map. So it will um, it later help your grinding efficiency. So now just quickly show you for the uh, grinding methods. Uh, I generally know the feather wolves live in the west part of the 11th step. So I will move to the west and then look on my mini map to see those density of highlighted yellow color. And then quickly I've, I find a pattern that, you know, those feather wolves, they gather into a a circle. I find it a rotation. Rotation is defined as a circle. So I found those one is one is the eastern, um, northeastern part. The other one is in the uh, southwestern part. So I just grind from these two points uh, again and again and again to gradually get the items I need. I grind in Asha specifically because I believe this grinding zone is very bad in terms of money per hour and no one is well sp specifically grind uh, for essence of the earth unless you know they are like me they just one step away so I just did one hour grinding without any interruption from other players and yeah it's, it's really painful probably one hour I get a hundred drop and then I combine them together into uh, the piece through simple cooking and the simple cooking uh, product rate is like one two three uh, products final products so on average it will give you two of the spirit essence of earth in my opinion um, I actually grinded more but that's fine because I thought it's only one to one exchange but now it's one to two on average so you probably only need 50 of the um, spirit fragments to around 50 to do the exchange now the final step is to unlock your auto wrench for your backpack and then arrange them into a like pattern shown in the video and then it will have an automatically plus icon then just click the plus it will form the final product of the infinite MP potion so this is the final process for combining the item That concludes the whole video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know Infinite MP Potion has been a popular topic by a lot of videos. Uh, so I don't want to repeat the same thing online. I just want to give you some experience special things to pay attention to and my experience of grinding this thing and what you can get from my experience. If you like my video, please remember to click the like and subscribe button and I'll see you next time.